don't quite know what happened there. We got 50,000 Rooter points, which I think is bad, but it doesn't mean anything. So, there you go. New save game has been unlocked. Oh, joy of joys. Okay. So, we're in the guest wing again. This game still contains <laughs> disturbing content. Like a man being covered by bloody fecal matter and loving it. Seriously? We can have we can have theater? Oh wow, that's cool. I'll have to make sure I hang on to the save game. We can watch her <laughs> freaking out to the piano. What's this? May Norton. <coughs> May's Melody. Father and Daughter. Sledgehammer. Father and Daughter rising. Through the window. The Fax. The Wandering Spirit. Weeping Dorothy, Alyssa's decision, I've got to help them! The Acid Atrocity, Battle with Corroder, Dorothy and Albert rising, The Clock Tower, Enter the Chopper, Past Massacre, Spirit of the Rooters, Chopper Attacks, Ritual of Engagement, Rooter Spirits rising, The Return of Linda, Portrait of a Burroughs. Magic Lantern. Okay. Scissor Family. Dick's Transformation. Death of Scissor Woman. Death of Scissor Man. <sighs> Grandpa turns into a pirate. Alyssa in danger. The final battle was cool. The credits. That's cool. What's the gallery? Ah! What? <laughs> That's adorable. So there's Sledgehammer. Croder in his little dress. Chopper's pretty sweet. Scissor Man. I. Hmm. Yeah, I think those are white tights. They almost have to be. She's not wearing tights because you can see scars on her. Dark Man. Lord. Burrow Dick Hybrid Hamilton Manor Very nice Alyssa's Room Wow, a lot of work goes into these and the set design and stuff Ugh That's the hospital, I think? Yeah Castle. Inside of the castle. I like these lighting effects much better. Oh, I was hoping it'd have the scrapped transformations it didn't make in the game. It's cute how she made a silly little face at me, though. Bye! You're weird, Alyssa. You're very weird. Now, let us see what our new saved game does. We are not playing this game on super hard. Because that's what this is. We're just going to play with something. The bad guys are faster, harder, and have new weapons. Still have the wardrobe key. Very good. Yeah, I don't keep any of the key items. Oh, the wardrobe keep. That's actually the important new item that we need to get. So we need to run up to Alyssa's room. And much like Resident Evil 2, various other Resident Evils, several other titles, mostly Capcom games, now that I think about it, we can play dress-up with Alyssa! Yay! What do we got? As, is this our Greek goddess outfit? See, the only problem is, to play in this outfit, you have to play the game on hard. Okay, what else do we got? We have... <laughs> She's got no top, and there's something wrong with her face. I'm not sure what it is. 
What's wrong with my camera? Where are them jeans in? Can I get to like a messed up camera angle where I can see what the hell's wrong with her face? Yeah, it's like it's not rendering properly. Like her nose. Ah, oh, well, that's okay. What else do we have? Now we have... Oh my. Okay, it might be worth playing the game again just to play in this. Does she have pants on? No, she doesn't. She does not have pants on. Damn it, Japan. This is unacceptable. This is... Yeah, I think I can see the back of her head. Something weird with my graphical settings. This one has leather thigh-high boots. I'm a little afraid. I think the less said about this one, the better. Well, I know which one wins in my book. I don't think it affects the cutscenes, though. Hmm. Very seldom does it. I'm curious. Let's see if we can trigger a cutscene. What do we need to do? We need to go find the holy water thing. She's got little daggers on her leg. Tarna! Alyssa the Tarakian. Okay, so we zap ourselves on that. Ah! No! I've been zapped. Okay, yes, yes. Panic meter, thank you. I just want a cutscene. Nope. Oh, well. Say lovey. You know I can't help myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> and she's this game's ridiculous. I need to quit before I lose what's left of my mind. I hope everyone enjoyed Clock Tower 3. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. And remember, if your grandpa's being nice to you, it's because he wants to kill you and eat your heart.